Hello there. In this video, we are going to talk about the key differences between Google Ads and Search Ads 360. Now, understanding these key differences will help you to understand whether you should switch or migrate from Google Ads to Search Ads 360. Or you might be just curious about what additional benefits does Search Ads 360 provide over Google Ads. In order to make this easy to understand, I have segmented these key differences in nine different topics. So without any further delay, let's jump into my laptop. Now, before we jump into differences, there is one similarity you should know. Both of these platforms, the names have been recently changed. Google Ads was called AdWords before. However, Search Ads 360 was called Double Click Search before. So our first difference is about inventory what kind of inventory is available in each of these platforms. So in terms of Google ads, your, you can run your search campaigns only on Google search and its partner websites. However, in case of search ads 360, you can create search campaigns, which can run on most of the search engines like Google ads, Bing ads, Yahoo Japan, Yahoo Gemini, as well as Baidu. Now, if you are an advertiser who is running campaigns on Google search, Microsoft Bing or other search engines separately, this might be a very good option for you because you can centralize all the search campaigns in one platform, which is search ads 360. Now this leads us to our second point, which is setup. Now, while comparing Google ads with search ads 360, you have to understand one basic difference. Now, in terms of Google ads, you can create an ad account, add the billing setup, and run the campaigns. The media buying will take place through Google Ads and the billing will be controlled in Google Ads. However, Search Ads 360 is works as a top level account which sits over all your search ad accounts. For example, if you have to run a search campaign on Google Ads as well as Microsoft Bing. Now, in that case, you cannot just go to Search Ads 360 account and create campaigns and push them to these two platforms. You will still need to create a Google Ads account and Microsoft Bing Ads account and add the billing setup there and then integrate them with Search Ads 360. Then you can control all your campaigns from Search Ads 360. However, the billing will still be handled by Google Ads and Microsoft Bing or other search engine platforms. So think of search ads as a layer sitting over all your search ad accounts where you kind of manage control and do all kind of reporting. But the actual campaigns are running through these platforms, which is Google Ads and Microsoft Bing. Now, it's very clear that in terms of campaign setup and if you have to change any campaigns, if you have, let's say, campaigns running on Google Ads and Microsoft Bing, if you want to make any change, you will have to go to individually on those two platforms and make a change. But if you use Search Ads 360, you can go to Search Ads 360 platform, make a change, and it will be reflected in both or even if you are using multiple Search Ad accounts. Now, this leads us to our next point, which is who is an ideal user. Now, in terms of Google ads, obviously this is intended for small advertisers or sometimes medium scale advertisers as well, or an end user who want to run their campaigns for themselves. Now you can, in terms of Google ads, you can create, anyone can create a Google ads account and it's to create an account is free of cost. Obviously, if you want to run campaigns, you will have to pay, but to create an account is free of cost. However, on the other hand, Search Ads 360 is like an enterprise level solution. If you have a, if you are a big company, you have huge search ad budgets and you have a team at least dedicated for search ads, then this platform is suitable for you. If anyone wishes to create a search ads account, they cannot go ahead to Google and create an account just like that. You will have to reach out to Google or any authorized partners who will create this account for you. They obviously look for your previous history in terms of how much was your spend on search in last one year and these limits with Google that who is eligible for a search ads 360 account varies from one country to another, just like DV360. Now this leads us to our next difference. In Google Ads, in terms of reporting, in Google Ads, you can sometimes see a delay of up to 24 hours, which as per the Google Help Center articles. Sometimes it's less, but it can go up to 24 hours. But in terms of Search Ads 360, you get almost real-time reporting. Now, in terms of, for example, if you are an e-commerce website, you are running search campaigns or shopping campaigns, every transaction will be recorded and reflected in the reports within 15 minutes at max. Now, the other benefit with Search Ads 360 is you can share your floodlight across your Facebook ad accounts and Twitter ad accounts, and you can report holistically in one platform 
platform which is search ads 360 and check for different kind of reports which we will talk about in the next few slides now in terms of reporting you have to understand something else as well in term, in google ads you have some standard reports and you have certain metrics which you can use in your reporting however in search ads 360 you get a lot of detailed reports to give you an example in search ads 360 you can even run a report based on the bid strategies used across different uh, ad groups or campaigns now you can also generate data driven attribution reports across multiple channels as i mentioned previously you can include your display you can include your social media campaigns on facebook and twitter as well not just this in search ads 360 you can create something called path to conversion reports which show you a detailed path of each conversion and on top of this you can create a deduplicated reports of conversions in search ads 360 which means if you are running campaigns on let's say google ads you are running separate campaigns on display and social media sometimes an a conversion can be attributed to multiple channels because when you create a report in Facebook you create a report on your display channel you create in your Google Ads one of the conversions might be attributed to multiple channels so when you sum these conversions up they are actually more than the actual conversions that happened in the back end so search ads 360 how it helps is you can kind of use the same floodlights across your display across your social so you can generate deduplicated conversion reports where you see the actual number of conversions attributed to each channel with data driven attribution which you define now this leads us to our next point which is bidding now in terms of google ads you have certain basic automated bidding strategies like you can do ROAS bidding you can do maximize conversions you can do maximize clicks and there are almost eight type of automated bidding strategies available in google ads however in terms of search ads 360 the automated bidding strategies available are more complicated and they are more efficient to give you an example in search ads 360 you can run a campaign with a bidding strategy where you define the minimum and maximum limit of your ROAS you want to run the campaign for and in terms of automatic bidding strategies the algorithm and the machine learning available in search ads 360 is much much more efficient than google ads in simple terms the machine learning and the data signals that are used to predict the best bidding strategy on your google ads is more complicated on search ads 360 more data is fed to algorithm in search ads 360 which makes the automated bidding strategies in search ads 360 more efficient as well as more real time now this leads us to our next point which is attribution which is a very important factor as well now in terms of google ads it does not have weighted conversions however in search as 360 you have weighted conversions as well where you can assign a weight to each lead for example if i am a real estate client and i generate leads from let's say dubai abu dhabi or people outside the country i can assign a weight i can write literally write formulas based on how i want to assign a weight to each lead for example in terms of geography i can say a lead in dubai is worth twice as lead in abu dhabi or a lead outside the country is worth 0.25 times that of dubai you can create different kind of formulas to assign weights to different leads and on top of this if you know that in google ads you can select one of the attribution models let's say last click or linear but in case of search ads 360 you can run all the attribution models at the same time and when you generate report you can generate them based on all the attribution models which gives you a lot of insights when you compare those attribution models to understand which one is better for you or to develop a strategy based on what you realize from these attribution reports which leads us to our next point which is integrations now google ads though both search engine 360 and google ads or google products but integration of google ads with double click suite is not possible now it makes a huge difference because you can natively connect search ads 360 with bigquery and other tools to get different kind of reports but you cannot do that in google ads on top of this if you are using search ads 360 and you are running campaigns on campaign manager 360 or dv 360 you can use the same set of floodlights so that you have a unified and 
more accurate reports but if you are using google ads along with other double click products which cannot be integrated and they cannot share floodlight so you will have to kind of rely on two different reports and then combine them if you want to have a unified look on top of this you can integrate search ads 360 with adobe analytics as well let's say you are not using google analytics and you use paid adobe analytics you can push audiences and push different kind of data within these two platforms which can be integrated this leads us to our last point which is automation now in terms of google ads you can set up basic rules to manage your campaign that you have to increase bid at this particular condition you have to stop the campaign at this particular condition you have to shoot an email to me at this particular scenario but in terms of search ads 360 the automation available is next level there is a lot you can do in automation in terms of search ads 360 which is not even possible in google ads to give you an example even the google the automations available on google ads are available at ad group level and campaign level but in search ads 360 those automations are available at keyword level as well and you can apply these automations across all the search engine marketing platforms you are using if you think there is any other difference which i did not cover in this video please feel free to add it to the comments so that it can help others thank you so much i will see you in the next one